Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Renita with Longtown New Yorks. And today is, I don't even know what day it is. Um, the days are just running into each other right now. Um, I'm actually popping on just to give you a quick update of the store opening. Um, if you have not followed us on social media or watched any of the videos and you're just new to the channel, please like and subscribe because that helps us out a ton. Um, but the store opening, Hometown Needleworks is opening up a bricks and mortar and we will be open January 12th at 10 a.m. for a soft opening. We have all kinds of things planned for that day, so please join us if you can. Um, and yeah, we just look forward to seeing all of you guys. Um, we will have Artie the Vintage Stitcher will be here. She'll be talking about some of her finishes. She's gonna have an area in the shop that um, is all about finishes. So um, we're looking forward to that. Um, yeah, a bunch of my girlfriends will be here to help out, so you'll want to stop in and say hi to everybody. Um, the store is pretty close to being ready to go. I've got a few tweaks that need to be done yet. I'm waiting for a few more magazine racks. You can see one of them back here um, to hold some charts. Um, yeah, and just a bunch of just clean up and, you know, just the balloons and all the goodies that are coming. Um, we have some giveaway baskets for people that do show up that day, um, some raffles. It's going to be fun. Um, we're really looking forward to, to it. There will be um, a couple of trunk shows here. I'm working out the details on those just yet, but um, we'll, see, we'll see how that ends up. We're going to do the soft opening on the 12th, and then after market, um, we're going to do a grand opening after market. Um, probably in between market and then I will be attending the um, needlework extravaganza in New Jersey um, at the end of March so um, it's gonna be a busy year my gosh my calendar is pretty darn packed already um, but it's super exciting and I love it we're gonna have a few new fabric colors are going to be released um, for the grand opening which will be really really exciting as well um, I just look forward to it. I look forward to meeting everybody, seeing everybody, and um, getting to know everybody. So that'll be fun. So that's January 12th, and that it starts at 10 a.m. We're going to be open for a limited number of hours that first weekend um, just to get our bearings so I don't want to get too, too overwhelmed. So, um, yeah, we look forward to seeing you. Um, the next thing I have to talk about today, real quick, I've had a few people messaging me asking me where it is. So I just wanted to make sure that everybody knows that we, I am doing the Bag of the Month Club this year again. Last year was a huge success for us. Um, this year, we're gonna do the same thing. I've limited the Bag of the Month Club to the first 100 recipients. So, oh my gosh, um, it's a huge undertaking but I had so much response last year that I've decided to open it to 100 spots this year. Um, I think that's probably gonna be my max capacity. So if you want in on the Bag of the Month Club, I highly recommend that you email me, hometownneedleworks at gmail.com. I need your name, your address. Just shoot me a line saying I want in on the Bag of the Month. Um, probably in the um, description of the email, just put in there that BOM or bag of the month, whatever. Um, I need your name, your address, and your email address you want the invoice sent to in case it's different from the one that you're emailing me from. Um, I've had I've had several ladies have a uh, a secret email address, so their spouses don't find it. You know that how that goes. So I'll just do a little bit of an explanation. The bag of the month club again, it's limited to the first hundred people. If I go over that hundred then there's a wait list. Um, I do anticipate going over that 100, but I think 100 is gonna be my max. My, my body can only take so much. Um, so I'm going to put you on a wait list. If you are on the wait list, I'll notify you. I'll reply to the email, you're on the wait list. Um, and the rules of the Bag of the Month Club are, if you drop out at any point during the 12 months, then you're out. You're put on the wait list. You don't come back in two months later because you decide you can do it again. If you're out, you're out. That's how the Bag of the Month Club works. The person on the wait list will take your spot and then you'll take their spot, so, so on and so forth. So once you're in, 
you're in. Your invoice every month, the bags go out the day that you pay the invoice or the, the next day. Um, and you'll get 12 beautiful bags with a bunch of goodies because the bags are $40 this year. $40 includes shipping and handling. Um, and you oh, the bags are well worth the $40. I always include extras, whether it be a pal, uh, or sorry, uh, I don't call them pals. Um, that's right, my friend Denise has pals. Um, mine are just floss pack, floss bags, whatever. You know what they are. Um, so um, you'll either get one of those, or you get a small bag to go with, like a Notions bag, or some months you'll get Notions in general. So sometimes I throw in new Notions that have come out. Um, it's just, or I'll throw in zipper pulls, or um, the zipper pulls last year were a huge hit. So um, those will probably be in the bag. It's just a variety of things. So you'll get your bag, which is a 13 by 14 inch project bag. Um, and it fits 11 by 11 key snap. It fits the large charts. Um, you can stuff this bag. It is a really, really nice bag. So the fabric on the front, fabric on the back. Um, sometimes I do mix them up a little bit. Otherwise, it's usually the, just one solid fabric. You have two um, metal zips. So it's a double metal zip on the front of the bag. And then the inside of the bag is lined with waterproof canvas. So accidents happen you know you hate to you hate to have anything that can cause an accident inside your bag but if it does happen um, you can put your bag in the washer and in the dryer you can also use an iron to iron out the creases of the bag if you so wish because the bag will be shipped to you like this okay it's not shipped flat it's shipped like this you can put an iron on this to take out the creases i would suggest a medium heat on the iron, and if you do throw it in the dryer, I would suggest a medium heat in the dryer as well. Um, and yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful bag. Very durable, the bag stands up pretty much on its own. Very lightweight. Um, it's just it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. So you'll get the bag, 13 by 14 inches, and a, I th always throw in goodies. The bag of the month club, each month you get more than $40 worth of stuff. I'll just put it that way. Um, I don't, I like giving away extra goodies. So yeah, 40 bucks. Um, you'll be invoiced the second Wednesday of every month and um, you'll have 24 hours to pay that invoice. If the invoice doesn't get paid, I just assume you don't want it. It's gonna go to the next person on the list. Um, so in other words, if you don't pay that invoice within 24 hours, you get booted and then you go to the back of the line. Um, I had a lot of problems last year with people that were wanting in and out and this year I said I don't have time for that so unfortunately when you're in you're in but if you're out you're on the wait list so if anybody has any questions about any of that you are welcome to email me at hometownneedleworks at gmail.com and I'd be happy to answer any of those questions but don't wait because I don't anticipate having any spots available um, by next week they're gonna all be gone so I will probably be doing another video just before opening so probably a week from today I'll do another opening because opening is next Friday um, and we'll go from there so I do have other um, potential clubs that we'll be doing um, every month but I don't want people to get really overwhelmed and I have a lot going on so I have to pace myself um, in order to make sure that everything goes off smoothly so um, yeah I don't know do you want a quick tour of what I have so far I mean it's a mess but if you want to see it I'll show you um, so here we have a huge wall that has only about a quarter of the charts that are going to be available in the shop and as you can see they are all on magazine racks I'm not a huge fan of spinners so if I haven't said that in the past I'm saying it now uh, I'm not a huge fan of the spinner racks and so therefore we decided to go ahead with magazine racks and you know it's probably a work in progress type of thing we'll see how it ends up how it goes but over here in this corner we have what's going to be a finishing quarter corner over here so that um, beautiful red shelf which belonged to my mother-in-law um, that 
shelf will be full of finishing ideas, fabrics for finishing, um, backing pieces. Um, Miss Artie, the vintage stitcher, will be here on opening day to answer everybody's questions regarding the finishing process. She will have some um, pieces available for sale in the shop as well. That's going to be very exciting. I can't wait for that. Um, over here, we have the lovely, um, there's a bunch of stuff on the top because I'm in the process of still hanging things. Um, but these are all the Sullivan floss. They're very, very easy to access. We will not be carrying DMC floss here in the shop for the simple reason that you can get it at every store here in Green Bay, and I've never had much success with DMC. Sullivan's is my number one seller, and it is a beautiful, beautiful, cheaper alternative. One of these days I'm gonna do a video on the Sullivan floss so that you can all see it. Um, then over here, just going around in circle, this is our floss wall. We have Classic Color Works, Weeks Dye Works, we have Valdani, we have Farmhouse Flossies, we have Sulky, and I'm not sure. It's a huge, beautiful, beautiful wall. So I will say that it is going to expand. So the, if you can see, there we go. This wall right here is going to continue with the pegboards, and I love this system. So easy to find. There'll be labels at the top above each of the panels, and oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's so easy to find to find your floss. So this beautiful corner that's over here, I'm just going around in a big circle. This beautiful corner over here is going to hold all of the sulky floss on the racks. And then as we go around, here we are at the front door. Here's the cutting table. And just over by the window over here is where the cash register is going to be. And then as we go around, um, here's the fabric wall. This is only a partial fabric wall. Uh, the table is full right now because I'm trying to organize it uh, by size. We carry everything in here. Here we are, we're back to the, the um, magazine racks. Um, there, there's some notions in there. Um, I'm not sure, I think we're gonna do some spinner racks for the notions, short ones that are sitting on the countertop. And then we have the middle of the store. So the middle of the store is definitely gonna be full. I mean, you'll have areas to walk around. It's not gonna be overwhelming. I like a wide open, clean space. So it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm super excited for everybody to come in and see it. Um, so the, as far as the fabric goes, we do carry, um, we carry other fabrics. We carry Zweigart, we carry Fabric Flare. Of course, we have Hometown Needleworks fabrics. Um, we just have a big variety of fabrics and I'm hoping to um, stock up on more during national market. So um, it's gonna be a huge, huge wall. But we do carry anything from 14 count all the way up to 56 count. So um, a very, very, very big selection. Love it, love it, love it. Um, yeah, so I'm so glad. I, I just can't even, <laughs> I can't even describe that. How I'm kind of anxious, I'm nervous, you know, all the things. But I'm so happy that you guys have decided to follow along and all the words of encouragement, you have no idea how uplifting they are. And I just, I, I hope that one day I can meet each and every one of you, um, whether here in the store or out and about. And um, yeah, so thank you for joining me today. I hope you got the information that you were looking for. Quick sneak peek. I will be back probably next Thursday, right before we open just to give you a finished look of what the store will be, give you a little bit of a, a walk through. The girls should be here um, because they're gonna be helping me out that day. I have a feeling they're gonna need it. And um, yeah, and then next week, I'll also show you the back room, which is where all the production happens because the store is much bigger than what I just showed you. So um, yeah, so I hope that you enjoyed the video. I look forward to seeing you next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. That will help us out tremendously. Follow us on social media. We're on Instagram and Facebook at Hometown Needleworks. And um, I will put the, the information for the store down in the description box of this video so that you have that. And then hopefully by the end of the day today and when the video is uploaded, we'll have a new phone number for the shop as well that you can contact us for all of your stitching needs. So I look forward to seeing you guys someday and we'll see you next week. Bye.